Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you are doing well at home. Dear children, in the previous session, we learned that ecosystem is made up of with living things and non-living things. How these biotic components are interacting each other, let us see in this session in the topic uh, interdependence among the biotic components. Dear children, let's observe the slide. Here, what do the arrow marks are uh, indicating? Here, the arrow marks are indicating that who eats the uh, Ooh. And also they are uh, indicating that the energy is moving one organism to another organism. Dear children, let's trace the path from uh, grass to hawk. Grass, rabbit, hawk. It is one path. Grass, mouse, hawk. It is a second path. Grass, mouse, snake, hawk. Grass, grasshopper and hawk. It is uh, one more path. And how many organisms Hawk is depending for its food material. Hawk is depending on its food material like grasshopper, rabbit and mouse and snake. How many organisms are depending upon the mouse? Hawk and snake are depending upon the mouse. Not only these feeding relationships, there is an interdependence between the plants and animals for the space and shelter and also for the reproduction. All the organisms present in this ecosystem depending on the plants only. So, where do the plants uh, get food material from? All the organisms uh, derive energy from the food material to live. The sun is the main source of the energy for all living organisms on the earth. Plants are uh, trapping this energy and they are preparing their food material by the process of uh, photosynthesis. But, whereas the animals uh, do not get this energy directly from the sun, animals they are uh, getting the energy from the plants. Some animals they are not eating these plants also, they are indirectly depending upon the sunlight. So the energy from the sunlight transmitting it to all living organisms on the earth. When the scientist is describing the way how this energy is moving from organism to organism in the ecosystem, they use the term of food chains. There are different feeding levels in a food chain. Here, plants and algae which is utilizing the sunlight to make the food material occupy the first level. Some animals which are eating these producers, they are occupied the second level. Those are called as herbivorous animals. And some kind of animals, those are eating these herbivorous, they are occupied the third level. Those are called as carnivorous. These carnivorous and herbivorous animals are called as uh, consumers. And uh, at every level there are organisms called decomposers. Decomposers like bacteria and uh, fungi turning the organic matter of plants and animals into nutrients and they are mixing in the soil. If you are removing these producers from these ecosystem, there is no food materials for the herbivores and carnivores. So the animals which is present in these different different levels, they are depending on each other. Let's recall what we learned here. The main source of energy is the sunlight for all living organisms in the universe. These energy is transmitting through the one organism to another organism through the food chains. Tomorrow we are going to see what are the changes in the ecosystem. Dear children, take your homework. How are organisms linked by their feeding relationships to make food web? Thank you very much.